Hey YouTube, AB3 and 5 here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not anymore. Hey YouTube, AB Fix here, formerly known as AB3945. I'm coming up with a new intro line and outro, so be with me. This is just what I have for now. Dare I say the YouTube Wrestling Figures New Zealand Champion. I definitely don't have the most figures out of anyone in New Zealand, but when it comes to YouTube, I think so. So maybe that. Leave a comment in the comment section of what you think about that, and if I should keep it, or just anything like that, I'd appreciate it. So yeah, now to the topic of this video. Happy New Year. I apologize for making this video so late. It's my first video since the new channel name reveal on New Year's Day. Um, I've just been quite busy. Uh, I found out a few days ago that I'll be participating and competing in a match at WXW Backyard Wrestling Live 2 with the likes of Chris Ambrose, the WXW Champion Zack Attack, and recently announced Jay Hagan. So it's actually going to be very interesting, probably a lot of fun, but the next match I lose in WXW unfortunately will be my last, um, that's a stipulation on my career added by Chris Ambrose, so I've just been really focused on that, I've been preparing, and I've hardly had any time to make videos, but I thought before I head off for WXW Live 2, which takes place on the 15th of January 2017 then I might as well make an update video for you because I hate to wait any longer this is the longest amount of time for a while since I've uploaded a video for you I used to do weekly videos um, it's not that I don't want to anymore but the weekly videos that I used to do were figure reviews and the views for those were actually pretty bad which implied to me that you guys didn't really want to see them so I'm not going to try and force figure reviews on you if that's not what you want to see well the figure reviews that I was trying to uh, force on you were just um, reviews of these and I don't remove these out of the box so uh, I apologize on my part um, it's probably my fault that you guys didn't want to watch them because I wouldn't take them out of the box I just for example, this Randy Savage, I'd just review him inside the box, and that's not a very good review because um, you don't get a good look at the articulation and you don't even see the whole figure, and I pretty much just rushed through all those reviews. So, yes, yeah, that's my bad, but I don't really have many other figures other than mint on card ones to review. I have some loose ones here, but not a lot. Um, you yeah, not an awful lot of loose figures, and a lot of them are just older ones that you probably wouldn't be interested in seeing reviews on. If you are interested in seeing reviews on any of these, let me know in the comments, and I'd probably be interested in making a video on that in the future. Uh, so now to the topic of this video. Actually, before I get to the topic of this video, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, I just got this Paul Heyman figure from the warehouse. The selection was actually not that great, so I didn't bother doing a figure hunt video. All, all they had at the warehouse was this and a Baron Corbin. I did originally want those two figures uh, from Basic, Basic Series 63, sorry, um, but the first time I went, they didn't have the Paul Heyman, and I preferred the Sid Justice figure, so I picked up that one instead. But the most recent time I went, they had this. Uh, my theory is someone hid this, and a employee found it uh, in the hiding spot and just put it back, because this wasn't there the last time I went, and this was this and Baron Corbin were the only figures left um, when I went there last. So, yeah. Um... Now to the topic of this video. Now I've been told by a couple of people that I am one of their favourite YouTubers and I should be up there with the likes of Wadfigs and dare I say 
Tommy Toy Travels. I don't think that I would rate myself that high, but it means a lot to me. It means a hell of a lot to me that some of you guys out there think so. So that's made me think, what is separating me from them? Why are they so high up and I'm just down here? A few things that they have that I could work on or add. Um, first one is branding. That's something that's come along with the ch channel name change. If you haven't already noticed, there's a new logo uh, for this channel. It's not the best, but you can see it in the bottom right corner of this video in the watermark or just the profile picture or the YouTube banner for when you open my YouTube channel. So, yeah, that, that's one thing. Branding, I hope to improve on that even more in the future. I do have a Twitter account, and just recently I've got a Facebook account to try and reach out to more of you and be more active on social media. So, yeah, along the bottom here you can see my Facebook and Twitter names slash pages if you guys want to check that out. I will tell you now, those will have something to do with the free figure giveaway and that I will be doing soon, probably after WXW Live 2, because I mainly want to focus on that for now. Some other things I've noticed from bigger wrestling figure YouTubers uh, that I am yet to do on this channel, um, some more original videos. Of course I usually do the unboxings, collection updates, toy hunts, but I haven't done too many original videos like top tens. Those are very popular on YouTube at the moment and if I can come up with some ideas for some top ten wrestling figure videos, well, yeah I could do top ten wrestling figure videos on my collection. That could be a video that takes place in the future. I've done that once before, but that was nearly two years ago. Um, I'd love to do another one of those, but maybe some other ideas like top five or top ten reasons that figure collecting in New Zealand sucks. I don't know. That That's not a bad idea. Let me know in the comments if that's a video that you'd like to see and I can work on that. I know there'd be a few people that would want to see it, but yeah, just let me know. Figure news. What I mean by that is informing my subscribers of new figure lineups and new prototype pictures of figures that will be coming out in the future. A lot of big wrestling figure YouTubers do that, but I'm yet to catch on to that. So if that's something you'd like to see, then I can start doing that whenever new lineups for Elite Series and Basic Series get announced. Or even just series like The Mutants and the tough talkers just stuff like that uh, I'd be interested to try it because I've never tried it before uh, but yeah uh, and keep in mind that this year I'll be a year 12 that's NCEA level 2 and uh, I think year 12 would be uh, sixth form is it sixth form yes yeah, sixth form that's, yeah that's the equivalent of sixth form so I'll be very busy this year, but whatever spare time I get, I'll put into these videos. Because I don't want you guys to suffer from me being very busy. Like I... Like... Damn it! Like I've been doing this past year already. I just realised that I, I've i been really busy and this is the first video I've made this... Well, technically the first video I've made this year. I'm really mad at myself for that and I just realised... My apologies, and I hope to work on that in the future. One of the last things I've noticed on bigger wrestling figure YouTube channels is the amount of customizing videos they do, or fix-ups, at least. I did a fix-up on this Elite Series 4K in a while back, but that actually got not many views. So I don't know why they get so many views on theirs, and I don't get so many on mine. But I'll actually try customizing, like... Uh, taking this torso off of Elite Series 4 cane and putting it on an Elite Undertaker figure. As you can see, I've just quickly drawn in pencil some of Undertaker's tattoos, not all of them, 
I can redo them later. But, yeah, I'm trying to hopefully recreate the basic Elimination Chamber pay-per-view series for Undertaker figure. There's a picture of it here, so you guys know what it looks like. It's just him without the singlet. I don't know if I'll try and replicate the tights exactly, but just any Undertaker tights, any Undertaker figure as well, just with this torso, I'm hoping to try that in the future. So yeah, now to channel goals for 2017. That's something that I've noticed a lot of YouTubers have been doing. New Year's resolutions and whatnot. I don't have any New Year's resolutions at this stage. I'm not really someone that likes to do those all the time. But last year, I had a secret goal of reaching 200 subscribers on this channel. And thanks to all of you guys, I was able to make it. I really appreciate it, and we were even able to make it past that. At this stage of me recording this video, we are currently at 221 subscribers, which I am deeply grateful for. Thank you so much. But I'm going to actually aim high this year. I think it's possible... Um, I'm not going to say too much about this right now. This will have something to do with the free figure giveaway. <sighs> I'll just say it. 500 subscribers. That's right. That is a big goal. The biggest goal I've ever had on this channel. But I think we can make it this year. Um, I plan on hopefully getting there... Um, by having the free figure giveaway contest that I do soon, um, I, yeah, I hope that can help, that'll boost it, because the original reason I was going to do the free figure giveaway contest was because I was originally planning on making a new channel due to complications with YouTube and their partnership program and whatnot, but those have all been fixed, so I no longer have to move channels. But I don't want to disappoint you guys and not give you a free figure giveaway contest. So I will still do it, but we might as well give some reasoning to it. And yeah, make, uh, you just have a reason to do that. So yeah, I'll, I'll announce it now. 500 subscribers, free figure giveaway contest. But who doesn't want a free figure? Even if you don't want it. You can still enter the contest, win the figure, give it to a sibling for a present, or even sell it for some extra money. I'll be shipping that figure internationally, so just, not just New Zealanders. So keep an eye out, and start bringing your friends over. You'll want to do that. Trust me, you guys will want to bring friends over um, for this free figure giveaway, because that will result in more entries in the free figure giveaway. That's all I'll say right now. But yeah, that's basically this entire update. I hope I didn't bore you too much. That's something that I hope to improve on this year, is less boring videos. Because I know, looking back at some of my older videos at least, they were pretty boring. I would drag it along quite a lot, and that's probably what I've done here. But I feel that that's something that was needed to, do to be done today. Uh, to get somewhere and just to give an update. So... Yeah, as I said before, I'm working on a new outro line to say. But I'd like to incorporate a bit of originality in that outro. So instead of saying smash the like button, click the like button, hit the like button, etc. I'd like to make it original for each video that I do. And to have it have something to do with wrestling. So let me have a look. Um... Flare chop that like button. Woo! And if you haven't already, subscribe.